This number will tell you if your patient is about to die before any other vital sign. Let's talk about end tidal CO2. So what is end tidal CO2? Well, it's the amount of carbon dioxide measured at the end of exhalation. So it reflects two critical systems. It reflects ventilation and perfusion. If they're ventilating, CO2 can leave the lungs. And if they're perfusing, CO2 can be delivered from the tissues. So when either system starts failing, end tidal CO2 shows it first. And unlike oxygen saturation, it's immediate. It's quick. There's absolutely no lag. That's why we call it the real-time shock monitor. So how would we use it during procedural sedation, maybe giving a narcotic, or even during transport? So it gives you an early warning sign that the patient is hypoventilating or even obstructing. The SATs can still be 100, but the end tidal CO2 climbing and the waveform may start flattening is a really big sign. It's an early alarm that you need to be looking out for. So oxygen hides problems, whereas end tidal CO2 reveals them. So let's talk about where CO2 really, really shines. Let's talk about CO2 during a code. Well, if end tidal CO2 is less than 10 during CPR, that means your perfusion is trash. Good compressions should give you at least 10 to 20. And if suddenly jumps up to 30, well, that means you probably have ROSC. So don't wait for a pulse check. End tidal CO2 already told you what you need to know. So how would we use it during trauma, sepsis, or even shock? So low perfusion means that less CO2 is returning to the lungs. That means there's low end tidal CO2. If the number is dropping without any change of ventilation, that means your perfusion is crashing. So you need to watch that patient. So yeah, end tidal CO2 might just be a number, but if you're not utilizing it, you are not using the most important number, the most important waveform that we have in critical care medicine or in emergency medicine. Uh, if you're not using it, you're really flying blind. So please start using it, start getting familiarized with it. And title is one of the coolest, most useful tools that we have on the back of an ambulance. Have a good day.